Welcome to Solutions Studio. This is a free series on C programming language. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with this series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this series. Hello and welcome to this episode. And in this episode, we have a brief discussion about uh, different uh, format flags that we have in printf function in C programming language. So as you can see in here that we have quite a few format flags that we can use while printing using printf. These format flags include a minus sign, a plus sign, a space, hash and a zero. And in here we have a short description for each one of them. However, I will go into the details of each one of these format flags in the coming episodes with many examples. So stay tuned as I will be discussing each one of these format flags in the coming episodes. Hello and welcome to this episode and in this episode let's go and talk about how to do right alignments and left alignments for the text that we want to print uh, using printf and we can do that using two flags which is the positive flag and also the negative flag. As you can see here in our example, uh, this line is going to show us the number of columns that we are located at or basically we can easily calculate the number of columns that the text is printed using this line of code as you will see soon in our example. And secondly, here is our main focus and in here we have tried uh, to print a string a integer number, a character and a floating point number and for each one of them we have defined a field width and because this field width is positive, positive field width means that the text will be aligned to the right side. So let's go and write it in here. And in this example, in this last line, we have tried to print uh, the same values, but, th but this time using a negative uh, field width. A negative field width means we will do some left alignments. Now let's go and run this program and see the results. As you can see in here that we have defined a field width of 10 for each one of these values. So you can see that starts from 1 and it ends until 0 in here and uh, the alignment is to the right side for hello which is a string, for 7 which is an integer, for a which is a character and for this value which is a floating point value. And basically the same way you can see that here we have around uh, 10 columns in here and uh, the alignment is to the left side because, because we have provided a negative flag in here for a printf. And a negative flag means left alignment. And that's it for this episode. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to see you in the coming episodes. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to this episode and in this episode we are discussing about how to print a positive and negative number with their respective flags. So uh, let's go and for that uh, purpose uh, let's go and run this example that we have in here. I will go and run the program. Now as you can see in here that we are trying to print an integer and we only use the conversion specification of D for integer without any flags. So whenever we are trying to print uh, the integer without any flag, we always get uh, the we always get uh, the minus sign if the number is negative, but we never get uh, the plus sign if the number is positive. And this is using only the D conversion specification. Now, if we want to force printing uh, the sign of the numbers, then we would use uh, the positive flag and the positive flag will make a printf to print uh, the sign of the integer, whether it is a signed integer of positive or a negative, it doesn't matter, the sign will always be printed. Here, I should have put a negative sign, so it would have been more clear. Let's go and run it once again. 
Now, as you can see, using uh, the positive uh, flag in here, we are forcing printf uh, to print uh, the sign, whether it's positive or a negative, it doesn't matter. The sign will always be printed. And that's it for this episode. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to see you in the coming episodes. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to this episode and in this episode we want to talk about how to use the space flag when we are printing uh, numbers using printf and use it in a meaningful and useful way. So one of the useful ways to use the space flag as you can see in here we have a space uh, for the first conversion specifier of d and we have a space for the second conversions for for the second conversion specifier of d both of these conversion specifiers are used uh, to print this positive integer and this negative integer now it becomes useful to use the space flag so that you always accommodate uh, for the flag that's going to be printed for the minus for this uh, negative number as you can see that these two numbers have been aligned uh, to the right and it gives the proper space for this uh, minus sign and uh, to be printed align with this other number and in case if we remove the spaces from these conversion specifiers then we would not have a properly aligned uh, two numbers now having this flag space can help to make a well-designed output using printf and that's it for this episode i hope this has been informative for you and i would like to see you in the coming episodes stay tuned hello and welcome to this episode and in this episode we want to discuss uh, the use of the hashtag flag when we are uh, printing integer numbers and also when we are printing uh, double numbers and what effects uh, does this flag has when we are using it in printf statements now let's go and see the example in here here i have declared and initialized an integer value an integer variable of c it has uh, this value and also we have a double variable p and it has uh, the same value but in floating points now let's go and run this program and now as you can see here in the results you can see that uh, when we are trying to print uh, this integer number using uh, the O, which stands for the octal representation of the integer number we will get uh, the octal equivalent of that number and then when we use hashtag along the octal specifier you can see that we get a leading zero or a prefix of zero now in here you can see that we have used uh, the conversion specifier of x and also the capital conversion specifier of x which both of them will convert uh, the integer into hexadecimal representation you can see that here we have got uh, the hexadecimal representation of this number and then when we are using the hashtag flag we get uh, this leading and a zero prefix uh, that shows us that this is a hexadecimal number which could be very important when we are trying to show that a number is hexadecimal and in here also the number you can see that is in hexadecimal and because we have used the capital letter x printf will use the capital letter x to print uh, this statement and then also for the floating point values you can see that when we are printing at the floating point value using the g conversion specifier and without the hashtag we get uh, the printed result in an integer notation but when we're using the hashtag and this decimal notation will be forced on this number to show that uh, this number is decimal and that's it for this episode i hope this has been informative for you and i would like to see you in the coming episodes stay tuned hello and welcome to this episode and in this episode we want to show you how to use uh, this uh, zero flag when we are printing with printf 
So as you can see in here in this example uh, that we have used a conversion specifier for an integer d and we want to print at uh, this integer number and you know that uh, this number 9 represents the fact uh, that we have reserved uh, 9 spaces for this number and uh, the number is going to be aligned uh, to the right side of these uh, reserved uh, 9 spaces. Now in this first printf statement we have also used a positive sign which means uh, that the sign of this number is also going to be forcefully printed when printing the integer number. And also we have this uh, zero flag which is very important and uh, the main discussion of our episode today. That means that using this uh, zero flag we can fill all of those spaces that we have reserved for this integer number. We can fill it with zeros and these uh, zeros are going to become the leading zeros or the, or the prefix uh, zeros for this integer number. Now let's go and execute uh, this program. And as you can see that we have a reserved a nine spaces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And when we have used uh, the positive flag, the plus sign flag, the sign of this integer is forcefully printed. And also when we have used uh, the zero flag, the prefix leading zeros are also printed alongside uh, this integer number. And that's it for this episode. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to see you in the coming episodes. Stay tuned.